Okay, this first time in the same video or picture, we have the 57 Bel Air and the 61 Studebaker Hawk. So we're going to get this 61 Hawk up on the lift today. And we're going to look underneath it and see what kind of issues it might have or how good it looks. Who knows? Who knows what we'll find? This will be the first time we've crawled under it or put it on a lift. Kind of glanced under it when my dad purchased it. He was real excited and um, um, just went ahead and purchased it as is and had a few little hiccups with it but overall you see it's an awesome car and you're not going to find another one like that and if you did it'd be a long time from now so anyway uh just wanted to just uh capture this for a minute here okay me and my dad have a little thing going. Whose fins are bigger? 61 Studebaker Hawk? Or 57 Bel Air? And whose fins look better? Whose fins look bigger? Whose fins look better? Now he's got a little bit of a rake on them fins. Mine are kind of a straight line. And then you got also got this whole area, the quarter panel, that's almost a straight line down little curvature to it and look at that angle it's awesome and it goes down all the way past the bumper just that line keeps going over here you got a lot of busyness in the fin so you got you got this right here hanging out which I think is pretty darn cool then it cuts in and then it goes back out again and then it curves back around um, then you got this jetting out of it. Obviously, different manufacturer, different ideas, different engineering. But really cool. My dad's got some big white walls, big three-inch white walls that are going on there pretty soon. Just have to do a few little things to the Studebaker before we go putting tires on it. The coolant system and the ignition switch it's about all that's going on with that car so anyway thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this little short video of two completely differently designed automobiles see that front end almost looks like a pickup truck right there Okay, and I got a photo bomb over there. Okay, I'm thinking I like the 57 Bel Air front end better. And I'm sure my dad, with the little rivalry we have going on, I sure. beg the difference. I think he's going to think his um, front front end looks better than mine. So, who's got the bigger fins and who's got the better fins? Or are they? both on the same car you guys tell me thanks for watching okay here's that big old Studebaker motor what cubic inch is that
Getting ready to put it on the lift for the first time. Okay, I'm back. We're looking up under the Studebaker. And we have a whole lot of grease fittings under here that need some grease. They need some attention. Um, my father pointed out that we have the original radiator. I see an AC coil in there, condenser coil, which is pretty cool. Either that or it's like a transmission cooler, which I kind of doubt. Um, anyway, a lot of original stuff under here. But if you look at the floor pans, I mean, they look great. I don't like when I see underbody on stuff. That spray, it's horrible. But look at the original floors. I love that. I guess those are new bolts for the seats. That's the original floors on this bad boy. That's the heater core under the car. It's like it's under the passenger seat. It's kind of crazy. I like it though. And I'm not sure if that's a yoke on that transmission is what they call that. But that part of the transmission looks brand new. Don't know why. Looks like the leaf, sp leaf springs have been replaced recently. Oh, we got some grease fittings on our U-joints as well. And you can tell they need some fresh grease on them, that's for sure. See a lot of leakage going on around our gasket on our rear end. No fluid pouring out of the axle bearings on the ends or anything like that. Everything's dry. Of course, that, that axle could be dry. Hopefully not. But we're going to get all this checked out get our mechanic to look at it but look at that original frame how good it looks the bumper extensions or whatever those are called everything looks great hard to believe this in 1961 little spacers Something going on there. Could be factory. These things are all in good shape. I guess that could be a good spot to jack it up. Maybe that's where I should have put a lift on it. But I'll put it on part of the frame up here. You can see something's bumped into here before. See this pan? Oil pan has been taken off and beat back out. Maybe they hit something many times because it looks horrible. Whoever beat that out did a sorry job. Gotta love that, but it's just part of the history of this car. It's pretty neat. Looks like it originally had, or I say originally, at some point it had dual exhaust because I see the mounts uh, everywhere. And now it does not have dual exhaust, so uh, I'm not sure what the situation is with that. Why they would have went back to single. That makes sense to me. But that's all right. It don't have to make sense to me. Anyway, just uh, thought I'd do a little documentation of um, the 61 Studebaker and kind of show you guys what it looks like. Here's uh, one last little spot that you can see the, the silver paint underneath that underbody spray well thanks for watching you guys like and subscribe if you're crazy and you like these old classic cars like us thanks a lot